something nice today, Angela. Yeah, right? Impressive, yeah. above average temperatures, the sunny skies, especially after that huge storm that I know, it feels good. <laughs> even brought a winter wonderland here to the metro area. And we're going to continue with this. Okay. That's the good news. A great weekend ahead to go skiing and snowboarding. Red River having their uh, big festival this weekend. And then also in Chama, their Chile Ski Classic. Going to be a fun time. Right now on the radar, we're looking at some clouds across the north, but otherwise, we can pretty much call it clear and sunny nearly statewide, especially for those areas I 40 and south. Take a look live outside right now in Albuquerque, 48 degrees. We have that 37% humidity, those winds on the light side. And you can see that sun starting to set. That means temperature is going to be decreasing here in just a few minutes. For now, though, we're looking for 40s and 50s really across the I 25 corridor. We have a little bit of those cooler temperatures across the upper elevations. Angel Fire at 36 right now, 31 in Farmington, and then 50s across the southern parts of New Mexico. Again, those temperatures cold into tonight, really what we're used to for this time of year. So make sure to bring your dogs and your cats inside if you can. If it's too cold for us, it's really just too cold for them as well. Make sure to bundle up if you're headed out the door for any reason. Those winds, while they may be light here in the metro area, we're looking for breezy to windy conditions in places like Klein's Corners. In Santa Fe, we've had on and off wind as well. All of that will be dying down into this evening and overnight as well. We're looking for partly cloudy skies and again, those cold temperatures. Here's the good news. Everyone asking, what is the weekend going to be like? Well, high pressure continues with that sunshine. So what that means for us, a clear, quiet weekend ahead. Saturday and Sunday, like I said, going to be great to go outside. And then, of course, Monday being the MLK holiday, a lot of kids still off school, I believe. So you'll be able to go outside and enjoy yourself as well. Those temperatures going to cool down, though, at the end of the week. We have a big storm rolling in Wednesday into Thursday. And so that really is going to be our next chance for any moisture. First, we're looking for rain probably Tuesday and Wednesday night. Then really some of that snow Wednesday into Thursday and then those cooler temperatures. Take a look. Okay, 60 in Roswell, 61 in Artesia, 56 in Carlsbad. So again, warm, above average for this time of year. We'll call it sunny Saturday, Sunday, and on into Monday. For the Silver City area, we're looking for freezing fog early tomorrow. It's kind of what we saw this morning. That'll burn off and we'll see those warm temperatures, sunny skies, clear conditions into the afternoon. Across the Four Corners area, going to be cold into tonight. Teens up toward the Durango area, La Plata County, then 20s as you head further south. South into northern New Mexico. Farmington looking for 49 into tomorrow, though. 46 for Los Alamos, 50 in Santa Fe, 53 in Española will be even warmer into Sunday and Monday. And then again, those temperatures start to cool midweek next week once that storm starts to roll through, accumulating snow in some of those areas by the end of next week. For places like Santa Rosa, Las Vegas, Moriarty, all looking for above average temperatures, clear skies through the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, even into Tuesday. And then that storm starts to make its approach. 54 in Rio Rancho, 54. Four on the West Mesa, 53 in the Valley, head south down toward Berlin, 53. And again, you can see those temperatures starting to cool down, that moisture really moving in. The key days are going to be Wednesday into Thursday, potentially into Friday as well, really for those cold temperatures. Take a look at the seven day forecast. We're looking at those temperatures again, staying in the 50s until at least Tuesday, then winter weather, Wednesday into Thursday. Let's take a look now at Traffic Watch 7.